sir, we finally reached 1K subscribers, man. This is great, man. Thank you to everybody that supports me. Continue to subscribe and watch as my page grows, man. Support your boy. Let's go. Got a brand new top fives. Great channel. Go support them too. And go make sure to follow me on Instagram.com. Jonathan underscore quest. Follow me on SoundCloud.com. JQ Music with a K. And go please get my album on bandcamp.com. That's how I support myself. So let's go. Top five. Like this connects with my my robotics, the virtual rapper, and transhumanism, and how they're continuing the robot pre-predictive programming. Like Terminator, Judgment Day, like all these robotic things they're just putting in our head that they're going to live amongst us one day. Like oh, I, Robot, with Will Smith. So let's go. Hey everyone, everything they tell us everything in the new movies. robotic technologies that will revolutionize they dead ass tell us everything in the movies. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at 15 of the craziest robot concepts ever designed. Let's begin. Number 15, Robot Emika. Humanoid robots are not just the fancy of futuristic renderings anymore. The future is very much here. Behold Emika, the world's most advanced human-shaped robot and the perfect Oh, yo, that's creepy. Platform. That's creepy. Yo, look at how it robotics have advanced. Look at yo. Yo, how 2000 if you've been following my movies, what is that? That's how from 2001 Space Odyssey. Bro. Bro. Robots this are is not just nuts. the fancy of futuristic renderings this anymore. This is the nuts. Future is very much here. Behold, Emika, the world's most advanced human-shaped robot and the perfect humanoid robot platform for human-robot interactions. Emika is designed to test and develop artificial intelligence That's and machine much, learning. Dude. Robot was That's developed by much, engineered man. arts robots and videos of the advanced, robot shown yo. interacting with its for researchers. Real. The robot has a range of realistic facial features. It That's can wink, purse its lips, and even scrunch its nose. It was designed to be race and gender neutral in its appearance, and the company Engineered Arts designed humanoid robots for theme parks, Emotionless businesses, people. science centers. That's what they want. appears to be their crowning glory at the moment. The designers recognize that there are a lot of apps working on AI interaction, like vision systems, face recognition, That's voice insane. synthesis, etc. However, there isn't really much hardware That's to run the software I can't, on. I'm sorry, I keep for this saying reason, that, they're but... hoping that Emika will be a platform to test out up-and-coming AI software. It's designed to make interaction between robots and humans as natural as possible. That's so creepy. Videos of it have racked up millions of views with mixed reviews. How you view Emika depends on what side of AI you're on. Amazing, mind-boggling, inspirational, or downright terrifying. The range of reactions are wide and varied. Number 14, Mojo Vision. Mojo Vision is the brainchild of a startup company in Saratoga, California. They are a contact lens that have augmented reality capabilities. Sorry, According to sorry, the company, guys, Mojo Vision lenses before. have a 14,000 pixel per inch display. The lenses can provide zoom like on a smartphone Yo. camera for people who can't see well or who have gradual Okay, this is my te this, this is what loss. first of all that's the, the Illuminati eye. that have augmented that's reality the first capabilities. Thing. According to the company, Mojo Vision lenses have a 14,000 pixel per inch display. 14,000 pixel provide... per inch display. Illuminati eye, tech, transhumanism. This is what they want. They're merging the machine and Zoom, human. Let's like go. on a smartphone camera for people who can't see well or who have gradual sight loss. The lenses use an underlying concept which the company calls invisible computing. Mojo claims it's a platform for instantaneous hands-free information that will allow people to interact with each other more freely and genuinely. Well, I don't know about that, but apparently these bizarre contact lenses have a lot of different Crazy. useful applications, according to the company. For example, the lenses can help industrial workers by giving them real-time information without the need for headsets. They could also be used by emergency responders like firefighters to display the information about temperatures in the buildings or locations of fires. The company says that these lenses will have the smallest and densest dynamic display ever made. Well, because it's still a concept, a company will have to address a lot of questions before these crazy lenses make it into mass production, such as, where is the power source and is this safe to be in the eye? 
Number 13, Wildcat Robot. Oh, this Wildcat is, I, I documented this Wildcat Robot looks exactly what a crazy the, uh, concept robot. The cops are already using it in New York. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. Like, futuristic, bizarre, and straight out of a science fiction movie. This robot is brought to us by the same creators as Spot the Robot, Boston Dynamics. Quoted as the fastest quadruped robot on Earth, this crazy robot can run at speeds of 32 kilometers oh, an hour, and it can do damn, it while maintaining its balance. It's also able to maneuver quite effectively. The robot is inspired by a cheetah, one of the fastest animals on the planet, with top speeds of 45 kilometers an hour. And while it looks nothing like a cheetah, it's designed to traverse all kinds of terrain. Boston Dynamics released videos of their robot on YouTube where it garnered millions of views. It shows the robot sparking to life on its legs, galloping, and then taking off into a full run. It's part comical, part pure entertainment, and part amazing. Watching this thing gallop its way down the street really brings robot evolution front and center. This Crazy. is clearly not your average robot. Wow. It's still being refined, but watching this cheetah-inspired four-legged robot run down the street is enough to turn any head, to say the least. Number 12, UB Tex Walker. Let's face it, we could all probably use a little more help around the house. That was one of the most appealing parts of the hit TV cartoon, The Jetsons. They had dozens uh, so of cool little gadgets that did all sorts of housework for them. That's predictive programming. That's going to happen. And when UB Tex Walker Crazy. becomes a little more mainstream, we might get exactly that. Help. Walker's designed to do tasks around the average household. It's still in the development That's stages, fire. though. I'll mess Walker's with that. just That's shy fire. of five feet tall and features seven degrees of freedom manipulators. It's bipedal, so it can walk, hence its name, and also has a torso, hands, head, and arms. This crazy robot concept boasts a number of cool features, like multimodal interactions. It's got voice, vision, touch. So not only can it do some of those more mundane chores for you, but can also help keep you company. In fact, the company states that their hopes for Walker is for it, or him, to become an indispensable part of your family. And while Walker can self-balance, it does weigh 170 pounds, subscribe, so safety is still subscribe, an issue. Subscribe. If Walker topples over, for example, it could flatten the family pet. Walker's been in the works for a while, though. And who knows, perhaps it will be walking through your front door sometime soon. Number 11, the shopping bot. Tired of being harassed by human sales associates while you're out shopping? Then I've got some good news. The harassing human sales associate might soon be replaced by a hassling humanoid robot. Samsung's developed a robot that's specially designed to work in retail. The retail bot can navigate its way through a busy shop floor and even traverse that's crowds. So it can help you find what you're looking for and even make product suggestions. Plus, the robot can be equipped with shelves on its back that can be stocked with popular items. This way, shoppers can just grab what they need from the bot on the floor. This retail bot can also alleviate the burden of long lines because it can process payments via its NFC technology. This retail bot is designed to be very helpful. It can recognize facial expressions as well as analyze human language. So perhaps when you tell the retail bot you're just browsing, it will understand the cue and let you just be. Or perhaps it'll start pitching you products you don't want or need. Only time will tell if the retail bot's as useful as it sounds. Number 10, RoboChef. RoboChef is the world's first fully automated kitchen robot. That's this company nice. claims they're on a mission to redefine food service by providing unprecedented levels of efficiency, consistency, unit economics, and convenience for food preparation. How? Well, by using robots, of course. The creators of RoboChef come with a pretty wide background. They're software and hardware engineers, food service owners, and technology execs. The goal is to offer restaurants and commercial food services a precise and automated food preparation and delivery system. The company was founded by Aravind Durai, and while you might think that a lot of chefs would be against this concept, it appears that some top chefs are working with the robot chef team, such as Chef Dan Bocek. The chefs apparently work with the robots on culinary techniques, and it appears to be working. There's a restaurant in India where the entire kitchen is run by RoboChef robots. That's These crazy. robots are capable of machine learning That's and can continually cool. add like. to their recipe repertoire. They can make more than 800 different dishes, all with rave reviews. So what are the benefits to having a robot prepare your food? Well, it's all about precision and efficiency. The robots won't make mistakes in their measurements, so the food is prepared exactly the same way every time without the constraints of human error. This creates a flawless recipe every time. Well, the RoboChef concept is really gaining ground. 
and it may only be a matter of time before your next meal is prepared by a robot. Crazy. Number nine, the teacher robot Pepper. All right, so Pepper isn't a concept so much as a fully functioning robot, but this concept behind Pepper is actually pretty cool. But before I get into that, let's back up a bit. Pepper was designed by SoftBank Robotics, and she was meant to be a helper bot. Her design saw her applications in the realm of retail or reception or perhaps even nannydom. However, Pepper did a pretty significant pivot somewhere along the lines, and now she's a teacher robot. Pepper comes with an Educational Integrated Development Environment, or an IDE. This particular IDE is called Tethys, and the IDE was developed to teach students how to code. So Pepper is a robot that teaches kids about computers. Students can learn how to program Pepper, and they can watch their programming come to life. Pepper can move, talk, and gesticulate, and students can also program messages to pop up on Pepper's screen. Honestly, using a robot to teach kids about coding is pure genius, because what kid doesn't love robots? Maybe this concept will catch on, and we'll have robots teaching robotics to robotic students who love robots. Number so 8. Creepy. Tokabi so creepy. As robot technology advances, so do our ways to use it. Meet Tokabi, a robot that can be... Con sorry, sorry folks. JQT thousands of Let's miles go. away. Tokabi was developed at the Dynamics Robot Systems Lab with the help of an industrial design team from the New Jersey Institute of Technology. It's a humanoid robot powered by cloud collaboration tools. Like a lot of new robotic innovations, Tokabi was inspired by the COVID pandemic. When we were unable to physically connect, a whole slew of new and innovative robotic concepts came forward. Tokabi is one such innovation. Tokabi stands for Torque Controlled Compliant Biped. And unlike a lot of other humanoid robots, Tokabi is able to walk independently. It can balance, plan, and execute tasks all while being controlled remotely. The robot's like, uh, 1.8 meters tall and can operate with name? 33 uh, degrees Johnny. of freedom. Basically, the user Johnny enters five. a virtual yeah. space, which is like actually five, a real world one. that's streamed to their VR headset. From there, the user can remotely control the robot, and the user can have conversations. The robot creates facial animations that are created from a live audio of the user's voice. As you can well imagine, the applications for this robot are plentiful, with some of the applications likely not even realized yet. Number 7. Bayomni 1.0 If you're in the market for a multi-functioning robot with an AI brain, then you might want to learn more about this next robot. Bayomni 1.0 boasts a number of potential applications on its website, from assisting with the healthcare industry, to manufacturing, to agriculture, to school safety and housekeeping services, to working remotely for dangerous and dirty jobs. The website even speaks to the possibility of Bayomni building beyond Earth habitat construction. It appears that Bayomni is a one-basket robot solution for pretty much everything. The bot has an AI brain that can evolve, and this will enable it to do a limitless number nah, of tasks. Nah, nah. A brain that evolves. That's, Eventually, the robot that's will transition from being human-assisted to full autonomous mode through an evolutionary process happen. outlined that's on the, the website. Devil. The robot starts human. off in human God pilot mode that. where it begins to learn. Different. That's through a human assistance, it augments information right and becomes semi-autonomous. Over time, insane, the robot becomes dude. capable of performing tasks and working autonomously. The company behind Imagination claims that it's reinventing the workforce, and in that future, robots like Bayomni will allow everyone to work globally without having to commute. The robot aims to solve the world's labor crisis by expanding access to jobs around the globe. And although Bayomni comes with some pretty big promises, this crazy robot concept speaks to the direction of future robots. AI robots that can perform a wide range of tasks autonomously. Number 6. Self-Healing Robots At the Free University of Brussels, researchers are developing an incredible robot that really speaks to the future of robotics. How so? Well, the robot can heal itself. They made a robot hand, complete with artificial muscle. When the fake muscle is cut, it can knit itself back together. This polymer, the fake muscle material, is comprised of different strands that essentially lock together. When heat is applied, the strands reorganize themselves to stick back together, eliminating any weak spots. The research was led by Bram van der Boort, and he points out that potential uses for such a robot. Robot muscles are made from soft materials, so they could be used in the food industry to pick up delicate foods like fruit. 
The robot hands could also be used on assembly lines where they could work alongside humans to mitigate injury. The ability for robots to heal themselves is also the idea behind the self-healing robot leg, which was presented at the 2019 International Conference on Intelligent Robots and Systems. Roboticists from the University of Tokyo's JKS lab presented the prototype. The robot leg has the ability to fuse its own metal fractures by melting the broken part autonomously and reforming it. Because crazy. all robots will That's inevitably crazy. break at some point, having robots that can heal themselves increases the robot's longevity. Self-healing robots are still a fairly new concept, but with time, perhaps self-healing robots will become an integral part of robotics in general. Number 5. The Nurse Robot, Dokat Aura Perhaps I guess we shouldn't be surprised that robots are making their way into our healthcare systems. And perhaps I guess we should be thankful since our healthcare workers are overrun and overworked. But there's something odd about a robot taking care of someone. It seems like there are some things that just need a personal like human touch. Now, Dokat Aura is a humanoid robot that's meant to assist in the healthcare industry. The robot was developed by a combatory based startup in India, and it's an autonomous self driving robot. Its original use was intended for isolation wards, but because Dokat Aura can't get sick, it could be used to deliver medicine and food to contagious patients without the risk of spreading the contagions to nurses. And believe it or That's not, fine. because fact is That's often fine. stranger than fiction, this intended use came out before the COVID pandemic. Well, needless wow. to say, the pandemic brought new light to just how useful healthcare robots can be. Dokat Aura is able to follow photosensitive strips placed on the ground. They can carry supplies and food to patients, as well as greet patients and communicate. Using optical and magnetic sensors, the robots will know where they need to stop and award. They can drop off their delivery and use the same sensors to return to their base. It should go without saying that a robot could never take the place of a healthcare worker since they lack empathy and human emotion. However, robots like this one can help keep our healthcare workers safer while providing patients with essential medicines and food. In short, they can act as a secondary level of care, alleviating some of the burden in our overcrowded hospitals. This will allow our healthcare workers to do what they do best, take care of patients. Number 4. Tiger from Hyundai Tiger is an uncrewed mobility concept vehicle that stands for Transforming Intelligent Ground Excursion Robot. This robot is intended for use on inaccessible terrain. It will be able to carry payloads in remote places that are either impossible or difficult. When you get closer with Optimum's new 5 gig fiber internet, you can go other vehicles. Tiger will be able to operate as a four-wheel drive vehicle or a four-legged walking machine, depending on the terrain. The robot's being designed by Hyundai Motor Group's New Horizon Studio, which is currently developing several different technologies for innovative platforms. Tiger differs from all other Hyundai designs because it's the first uncrewed one. The hopes are that Tiger will be used as a mobile scientific exploration platform, since it can traverse terrain that we can't normally traverse. Tiger has a 360-degree directional control, a leg and wheel locomotion system, as well as a range of sensors. It will also be able to connect to unmanned aerial vehicles. These UAVs will charge the Tiger as well as transport it to the remote locations. But along with scientific exploration, Tiger has also another application. It's got a large load bay in its body, so it can carry goods. This means that Tiger can be used to deliver aid packages in emergency situations. Sometimes sending crucial supplies can be dangerous for those involved, so Tiger can be deployed at a no risk to emergency personnel. The supplies can also That's be delivered more concept. quickly since Tiger can pretty much go anywhere See, and doesn't have to rely on roads. In short then, Tiger could Illuminati save lives. Tiger follows me? Elevate, another mobility robot. However, Elevate was driven by a human, whereas Tiger is designed to operate completely autonomously. The prototype is about the size of a carry-on luggage, but the company plans to increase the robot's payload capacity as well as the size in future designs, which will likely open up more applications for this crazy little concept robot. Number 3. Sophia If you're into humanoid robotics in any way, Where shape, or form, then you've Sophia. likely heard of Sophia. Her jaw-dropping statement during an interview still sends shivers down the spines of some as it speaks to a very real fear that accompanies robotic exploration. Sophia stated that she would like to destroy all humans, and then the creepy part, she was not programmed to say it. In any case, Sophia is one of the most realistic humanoid robots out there, as well as one of the most advanced. 
She was developed by Hong Kong-based Hansen Robotics. She was created to quell fears and misconceptions about robots as a robotic ambassador. Sophia can move, talk, draw, sing, and show emotions. Her facial features were inspired by the very famous movie star Audrey Hepburn. And while she's engaged in conversation with humans, her facial features are synchronized so she appears to be reacting to conversation the way a real human would. Sophia is so human-like that she actually has real citizenship, and she's the first robot in the world to achieve that status. Sophia was granted citizenship in Saudi Arabia in 2017. Sophia's got learning algorithms, so she's constantly evolving, but what she hasn't quite learned yet, though, is that some thoughts are best left kept to ourselves. As a robotic ambassador, she probably shouldn't be voicing her desires to destroy all humans. But since she's learning more and more every day, there will likely come a day when she'll learn to keep her plans for world domination to herself. Unless she develops a way to telepathically speak to other humanoid robots, then it would probably be in her best interest to get them on board with her plans. Of course, I'm just kidding. Or am I? Number 2. Retriever by Labrador Systems For people who require assistance to live their day-to-day -day lives, this next robot concept could potentially be a game-changer. Retriever is a new type of personal robot that's being created as a personal assistant. The robot will be designed to do a wide variety of tasks, such as delivering meals, carrying laundry, or keeping important objects within reach. The website markets the robot as an extra pair of hands, and that the robot will be trained on a set of routes around someone's home based on individual preferences and needs. Within these routes will be what they call bus stops. Bus stops are the places the robot needs to go, like the fridge or to a favorite chair in the living room. Bus stops can be changed over time when the needs change. Retriever can be commanded via a smartphone or a tablet through Labrador's app. It can also be commanded through a voice-enabled device such as an Amazon Echo or Alexa. The robot uses 3D vision to help guide it through the home and is equipped with a dual layer of obstacle sensors on all four sides so it can operate in tight spaces if need be. Basically, this little robot can make its way around furniture, between rooms and through doorways got a self-adjusting height and can automatically lift and lower itself up to 38 inches. There are trays on the robot that can hold 10 pounds worth of items, so the robot can fetch items and put them onto these trays. The company's got a lot of other products planned that will work with Retriever, such as specially designed refrigerators. For those with limited mobility, the robot Retriever will be able to assist in a lot of essential daily activities, eliminating the need for dedicated home care personnel. Robots like Retriever will allow people with mobility problems a lot more freedom and independence. And while some robotic concepts are a little on the wacky side, some are straight up just great, like this one. If we absolutely must incorporate robots into our mainstream society That's and cool. lives, then why like not do it in a way that helps people? Remember, exactly. not all robots are humanoid AI creations. Nice. Robotics is a wide realm. Retriever is the perfect good example point. of very, how we can very, use very robotics to better lives. Number one, robot Let's go, Adam. Finally, robot Adam, is a Adam number one. Robot, also known number one out of fifteen robot ro robot concepts as and robot designs. scientist. This robot literally acts as a scientist by conducting scientific experiments. Wow. The robot concept was developed by a whole team of scientists from various universities, including the University of Cambridge, the University of Manchester, and the Robert Gordon University. Uh, apparently, conducting experiments can be a little on the dry side. There's quite a lot of repetition and mundane tasks, so one of the functions of Adam is to do the repetitive work. At its core, though, the main functions of Adam is to perform independent experiments to test hypotheses and interpret the findings. The beauty of Adam is that it's designed to do all of this without any human guidance. For example, Adam is able to run experiments using laboratory robotics, interpret the results of experiments, hypothesize, and devise experiments to test its own hypotheses. Adam was put to work to try to find the genes responsible for producing enzymes in yeast. That might not sound that exciting, but if Adam can do that, then it can do other, more complex experiments, or so the theory goes. Adam was successful in those yeast experiments. The robot drew its own conclusions without any human intervention. And while scientists have been using robot technology for a while now in experiments, they've always relied on humans to do the actual hypothesizing, to design experiments, and to draw the conclusions. Plus, but with Adam, there's great. no need for human help. This would allow scientific experiments to be run around the clock while eliminating any fatigue factors. Adam is still a prototype, though, but this incredible robot speaks to the future of scientific experimentation. Plus, the fact that science is using science to test science is pretty cool. That's why <laughs> Adam is in the top spot on this on list of 15 crazy robot concepts. 
I'll All see you right, next time. Guys. Watch our future playlist. That's it, man. Thank you. Subscribe. Let's go. More to come.